Hey guys, Tangle here. I want to show you a prototype of something I've developed to a point. Um, this is just a prototype. Uh, you can see it's it's not enclosed. It's pretty crude, but it's enough to prove uh, the concept of what I wanted to do. Um, and let me explain what I wanted to do. Uh, this is going to be about ranging using a scope. And to appreciate why something like this will be useful, you have to kind of understand the process. I'm going to take you through that real quick. When you don't have a laser rangefinder, or for whatever reason you can't use a laser rangefinder, maybe uh, too much growth, it, uh, too many objects between you and the target, uh, you can take a scope and count the dots in your scope that the uh, target uh, covers or some call that sub tens and you can estimate the size of the target we'll say it's a half yard uh, that's 18 inches uh, maybe it's a coyote and um, we we know this approximate size of the the target we've counted the number of dots in our reticle and we go to a lookup table and we look up the number of dots we found in our reticle and go over to the estimated size of the target and that tells us how far away we are. So you have to do a table lookup. You can also use a calculator for it um, if you wanted to do that. So that's what this thing does. It actually calculates range based on the number of mill dots the target covers and the estimated uh, linear size of the target and it gives you the range. Let's just take an example here. Right um, at the very first part of the screen you see mill reds, or you can think of that as mill dots if you like. I've got them set for 2.5. Uh, of course, you can see this too. I've got a half yard that is 18 inches. So if we have a target that covers or subtends 2.5 mill dots, and we estimate it to be a half yard uh, high, uh, it is 200 yards from us. So this is uh, a calculator that lets us do that. Now, let me show you how we use this thing, and again, it's a prototype, so not everything's um, activated yet, but when I get ready to do this, first let me illustrate, if I turn this knob, absolutely nothing happens, and that's because it's not in the active mode. To get it in the active mode, I push in on the encoder switch, click, and you'll notice two bars come up. That indicates to me what I'm going to be selecting. Now, I'm going to take this down to 2.0. There we are, and you'll see it has recalculated the range. It is now 250 yards. Let's take a man-sized target and guess at some um, mill dots and see what kind of range we get. You might notice while I was talking my dots went away. Well, that's kind of an automatic timeout. If I don't turn the knob or push the switch within 10 seconds, it times out and puts it back in a neutral or safe mode. So if you've set it aside for a little while and go back to it and bump something, nothing gets changed inadvertently. So let's change the yardage. Click. That puts me in the active mode for mill rads. And I'm going to click it one more time. Click. And here it is in the yardage. So we're going to go up to, am I going the right way? Yeah. Two yards. That's six feet. That's kind of a man-sized target. And I'm having to go slow here because I'm having a hard time reading my display. I had it, didn't I? Okay, we have a six-foot target. At least we've estimated it to be six feet. And it's covering two millirads or two mill dots in our scope. It'd be a thousand yards away. So let's get a little more reasonable. And I'll click and get those mill dots activated again. And... We'll go up to, say, two and a half. And you can see the yardage has been recalculated. We got a two yard or six foot target at three mil dots. And you can see again it's been recalculated. And we can set it at something besides, oops, I timed out, didn't I? We can set it at something besides nice even numbers. There's something that's in between. So our mill red or mill dots can be put in in tenth 
of mill dots or mill mill radians really. So let's continue moving up. We'll go up to about five here. A four is interesting. Let's go to four. Sorry if I'm jerking that around. All right, four. We see a man-sized target that takes up four mill dots in our scope is 500 yards away. So up to five. And I can do the points. I just am kind of picking nice even numbers here. 400 yards away. Let's go up to 10. I'll go crank in a hurry here till I can get close. There we go. Close. It's kind of awkward to do with, with it set up this way. There's 10 mill dots in our scope, a six foot target. 200 yards away. Show you a little something else that's not in there yet. Let me back off and zoom in a bit. Wrong way. You notice I'm only using the top two lines. Well, the bottom two are reserved for something else, and this is going to be um, the ultimate, I guess, for me. We're going to have a label here that says load. Uh, that's And the bottom line is going to tell us what load we're looking at. The next one's going to be the drop, and the drop is going to be related to that yard and that specific load. It'll tell you how many inches low or high, if the case may be. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. And this is going to tell us how many clicks we have to adjust our scope to to get a dead-on hold on the target. So, of course, haven't implemented those yet, but I have done that and looked at it, and I'm right now trying to decide how I'm going to do that. So what it's going to be is kind of a shooter's guide aid calculator so he can uh, estimate range and get bullet drop information and even scope correction stuff without having to carry tables around or calculators and um, take the best guess he can if he doesn't have anything to use with. So that's what it is. I talked about this on a forum, so some of you were familiar with the, what I was doing, and this is just an update for them. And if you didn't read about that on the forum, then this is new to you, and that's what it's about.